2 Timothy 4 I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound of doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. Being for the perfection of what is being sown in the... And the one which falls in autumn being a feast of thanksgiving for the bringing home of all the fruits which the trees have produced. What two festivals do we have? How long he said the feast lasts? Did he, did he re say how long it lasts? Seven days. Uh, seven days. We have two festivals or the longest festivals and they last for seven days. What two festivals are those? Feast of Unleavened Bread. And... Um, We about to do it? No, we, we did it. No, we, we already did. We was off schedule. Oh, Sukkot. We got two festivals that are seven days that he's talking about. The Feast of Unleavened Bread is seven days, and the Feast of, of um, Tabernacles is seven days. When did he say these, these two great greatest festivals or longest festivals start? In the spring. On the seventh, on the seventh day of the week, right? Since you heard that way back there, yeah. these two festivals are our longest festivals, and they start on the seventh day of the week. Let's get the feast schedule. Let's go to Leviticus 23. Let's go to Leviticus 23, and let's see when is the 15th of, of the, the day. Or the seventh day of the week. Leviticus 23 and verse 6. Shema. Shema. Take your time, y'all. I don't want to rush you because I'm going to record this, but this is this is paramount because it's just for understanding and knowledge's sake. We had to go around the Morberry bush to get all this information out. This is Leviticus 26. I mean, sorry, 23 and verse 6. Read. And on the 15th day of the same month is a feast of unleavened bread. So uh, you just confirmed that follow says on the seventh day are the two greatest or longest feasts. They last in seven days. You just said the unleavened bread starts on the 15th, which means the 15th has to be the seventh day of the week. Right or wrong? Right or wrong? Yes. Read it again and follow. If you don't mind, please. Yeah! Good boy, that's my boy. But to the seventh day of the week, he has assigned the greatest festivals, those of the longest duration, at the periods of the equinox, both vernal and autonomal, in each year. Appointing two festivals for these two epochs, each lasting seven days, the one which takes place in the spring, being for the perfection of what is being sown, and the one which falls in autumn, being a feast of thanksgiving for the bringing home of all the fruits which the trees have produced. Unleavened bread is right after after Passover. That's the what he's saying in the spring, right? Mm -hmm. Unleavened bread, you just read in Leviticus, starts on the 15th. Right. Follows saying that's the seventh day of the week. Yes. So if the 15th is the Shabbat, 8th, 22nd, 29th. Mm -hmm. It just takes being patient. Check it. And, and if new information comes out, you should humble yourself and consider it. Mm -hmm. But if y'all don't put it on your heart to see it, so be it. This is not the split hairs over. But we can confirm that our Shabbats, the set apart lunar Shabbat, is the way our ancestors kept it, and it's the way the Messiah kept it. The 8th, the 15th, the 22nd, and the 29th. So while we're in Leviticus, let's go over and confirm the second, the second of 15th day festival. Let's pick up uh, verse 39. Because unleavened bread is in the spring, right after the Passover. And then he said the autumn feast is uh, tabernacles. This is Leviticus 23, verse 39. 
Shema. 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 Read. Also in the 15th day of the seventh month, when ye have gathered in the fruit of all the land, ye shall keep a feast unto Yah. Seven days. On the first day shall be a Sabbath. Should be what? On the first day should be a Sabbath. So again, this is why these translations, if you pull this up in the Blue Letter Bible, you won't see that phrase, it shall be. All you're going to see is the word, the Hebrew word for Shabbat. So it's been on our face the whole time. The 15th is a Shabbat, and finish that out, the 8th. And on the 8th day, there should be a Shabbat. Ain't that something? The 15th is a Shabbat, and the 22nd is a Shabbat. Mm. Ain't that something? Mm. That's why I say learning our language is important. Not to be arrogant, but our culture means something. Yes. It's been in our face the whole time that a Shabbat is on the 15th. But the seminary preacher is going to tell you, no, that means it's going to be like a Shabbat. It's, it's a great day of rest. No, if you go pull this up in the Blue Red Bible, that phrase, it shall be, is not there. Mm -hmm. It's just saying the 15th is Shabbat and y'all convocate. We convocate every 15th because it's Shabbat. Yeah. Now it's a high Sabbath because we're starting a feast. Mm -hmm. That's what high Sabbath means. It's been on our face the whole time, family. So y'all been great. Uh, again, I'm going to clean this up and post it. Let's show how, you, how our king kept the lunar Sabbath. The king kept the lunar Sabbath, family. Let's go to John chapter 7. Daddy, my child was mommy. John chapter 7. And, and my, wife, my wife is a testament of this. Those just coming in grasp this, grasp this stuff better than those who are old. Because once you're old, you just been last on to something, and you can't, like, no, that ain't right. Mm -hmm. So just coming in, you're like, yeah, I can see it. Like, it's right there. But if you've been doing something so long, like, no, nah, that can't be right. So this is John chapter 7, verse 2. Shema, when you have it. Shema. Read. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brethren therefore said unto no, him. that's all we need. Uh, okay. So we got our time stamp. The, the Feast of Tabernacles is about to happen. So that's our seventh month. And we just confirmed in Leviticus, Tabernacle starts on the 15th, right? right. Let's drop down to verse uh, 11. Then the Jews sought him at the feast and said, where is he? This confirms the feast has started. So we have to know it's the 15th of the seventh month. Because the Most High says started on the fifteenth. Mm -hmm. Follow confirmed the fifteenth is a seventh day of the week, right? Right. So let's drop down to verse thirty-seven. This is what I call being a Berean. Verse thirty-seven. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yeshua stood and cried, saying, "If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink." So the last great day of the feast. And that's what we've been celebrating um, the last two, three years. We've been doing this. We, we just, because captivity, we can't do the whole seven, eight days. We were gathering down in Atlanta on the, the, the last great day. So if the feast start on the 15th, and we're supposed to do it for uh, seven days, what's the last great day? Because it says do this for seven days. So it starts on the 15th, the 16th, the 17th, the 18th, the 19th, the 20th, the 21st is 7. So the last great day of tabernacles is the 21st, right? Everybody tracking that? Yeah. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So the last great day of the feast, Yahshua is talking, he's preaching. All right? So watch watch this. This is about to blow your socks off. Y'all stay, uh, stay, stay around for a reason. This is the last great day. It's the 20, 21st, and Yahshua is preaching. John 7 and verse 53. John 7 and 53. And every man went unto his own house. Yeshua is done preaching. The feast is over. So the, the 21st of the, of the seventh month is over. Everyone's gone. Tabernacles is done, right? Let's read uh, the next chapter. Start with verse 1. Uh, verse 1. Yeshua went unto the Mount of Olives. So remember I told y'all these chapter breaks are man-made, and we, you know, we think the most high form because it makes it easy to study. But this one verse could have been added to the, to the uh, previous chapter. So as they went home, 
Yahshua went to the Mount of Olives. Anybody with me? Shema. The feast is over. Everybody went home. Verse uh, 7 and 53. Verse 8 and 1 says, Yahshua went to the Mount of Olives. Verse 2. And early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. So the feast ends on the 21st. They're in the temple the next day. Why are they in the temple the next day? Because the temple, you can't come to the temple any day of the week. The priest is not going to let you in. The priest got guards. Even on Shabbat, we got the, the court of the Gentiles where the sisters feet, uh, worship at. And the, the, the Levites are set up to make sure no one violates the, violates the temple. So if it's not Shabbat and it's not prayer time, the temple is not open. It's so the 21st of the seventh month, the feast ends. Now the next day in the morning, Yeshua is in the temple teaching the people. The people are there for Shabbat. Shabbat, yeah. This is the 22nd. Mm -hmm. This confirms Yeshua kept the 8, 15, 22. It's been in our face the whole time. It's just that these brothers get caught up in their flesh and don't want to hear nothing else. Or these, some of these elders with the gray hairs with these big old foul ones don't want to hear nothing. And that's prideful. Mm -hmm. This has been in our face the whole time. 8, 15, 22, 29 is Shabbat. The Shabbat. So that's that's it in a nutshell. I have one more thing just to confirm. Um, why not? Let's do this. So let's go back to Genesis. We're gonna confirm that a month is thirty days, and you can see you can see the uh, the pattern. Let's go to Genesis chapter eight or chapter seven, I believe it starts. Chapter seven. Simple math. Chapter 7, and I'll, we pick it up at 7 and, seven and 11. Genesis 7 and 11. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up. So write on your paper the second the second month on the seventeenth. The second month of the se the seventeenth of the second month, the Most High started the flood. The, wa the, the waters they, they call them geysers. The Most High opens up the earth and water shoots up. They call them geysers, and then He makes it rain. We're surrounded by water, family, above above us and below us. So when the geysers open up, the Most High that's how He fled fled from the bottom. Then He caused the rain to come down. He started this on the 17th day of the second month. Amen? Amen. Now, let's see when he, uh, when he stopped this. Let's go over to Genesis 8. Genesis 8 and... Yeah, thank you, sis. Genesis 8 and 3. And the waters return from off the earth continually. And after the end of the 150 days, the waters abated. So the, the, the rain stopped, but the water stayed on the earth, drowning everything for 150 days, right? So, and I apologize, I thought I had it marked. Verse 4. And the ark rested in the seventh month, on the seventeenth day of the month, upon the mountains of Ararat. They got images of an ark-shaped thing on Mount Ararat. Sister, you're shaking your head, sister. I've heard about it. They got images, and they, once they seen it, once that jet seen that, snapped the pictures, you know what the military did. Roped it off. But you can go on YouTube, brothers made videos of it. There's no way you're telling me that's not an ark. And then when they went there, they found fish, bones, and other fossils top of a mountain. So, what well, I want you to write down your paper, the, 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 the yacht rested on the 17th day of the fifth month, did it say? Uh, no, 17th, uh, the seventh month on the 17th day of the so month. So, it rested on the seventh month on the 17th, right? Yes. So, it started on the second month on the 17th, it rested on the seventh month of the 17th, right? Mm -hmm. Two, the seven is what, five months? Yes. The sis says, 8 and 3 says the earth was underwater for how many days? 150. 
What's five divided in 150? Huh? 30. 30 days, right? Yeah. 30 days, right? Mm -hmm. So, according to this system, 7, 14, 21, 28, you got two extra days. Now, they're saying, y'all breaking the cycle up, and how can you have a week that's two days and then you start a new month? That's a valid question. It's a good question. It's like, hey, I'm just doing what the most high said. I can see it. So their problem is, y'all saying y'all breaking the, the, the cycle up, and y'all week that week was only two days. But it's not so once you add the two new moons every 30 days. If you add the new moon at the beginning, then a new moon's coming in between the 28. 28 plus 2 is what? 30. All day long. 30. All day long. If you, 28 days gives you four weeks of, seven, uh, of a seven uh, period cycle, you add two new moons, 28 plus two is 30 days. That's how we get our time. Enoch confirms that when you read Enoch 72, we got uh, the first quarter, first three months of the year is 30 days, the next three months is uh, 29 days, and another 30, our last quarter of the year is 29 days. I'm tracking it now to see if it's verified, but remember, what was the caveat to keep things in order? We read it in the beginning. What was the, what was the one requirement to keep everything synced up? If the children of Israel keep the feast, but once we stop keeping the feast, so I'm tracking now. I'm going to do it at the end to see if Enoch's moon cycle is on point. If it's not, it just we're sinning. But we're we're trying to get back to the closest thing. One last thing, and this is for the, the continuous. Moon cycle, and, and this is pretty much going to be done with it. Uh, can you get, pull up another tab? Yeah. And I think I already got it up there. It's a tab that says um, June 2018. June 2018? Yes. You see it up there? Everybody see it on the screen? Yeah. When did the month start? Friday. The first? The first, yeah. And Saturday is the Sabbath. The second? Yeah. Yes, I thought the seven days, is y'all a liar or is y'all lying or you lying? 